Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can create recurring tasks in Planner. This is actually one of the relatively new features that we now have in Planner. Up until recently, if you, let's say, uh, created a task, um, essentially, uh, you could set, you know, the due dates and everything, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, that was just a single task. All right, essentially, at the end of the day, if you had, let's say, a recurring task that you needed to occur weekly, uh, we couldn't really do that. Uh, that has now changed. We now have the ability to repeat the tasks. And essentially, if you click on a given task after you create one, on the repeat section, there will be this option. By default, the tasks uh, do not repeat, but you can set the frequency. And it's daily, weekly, you know, monthly, and so on. You can also select, you know, custom, uh, you know, essentially recurrence uh, and all that. But for now, let me just do maybe a simple example. I want, I have this onboarding plan, so maybe I need, uh, you know, to to do something every single, you know, Friday or so on. So let me uh, uh, essentially repeat it weekly, and I'm going to start with this particular, you know, date, uh, essentially Friday, and then I need to repeat the task weekly. And that's pretty much it, all right? You can obviously assign uh, the, um, uh, you know, the task to whoever you want, whoever is part of the plan and configure other fields, but that's not the focus of this video. So if you notice, uh, the task has been created, assigned to Mary. And if you notice, it has this, uh, uh, you know, uh, round arrows, I guess, icon. That means that uh, the task is a recurring task. So uh, let me first show you before we complete this task, let me first show you how it shows up on other views of Planner. So if you click on the grid view, which is essentially just a list of tasks, uh, it will once again, you know, show you uh, the task and uh, those curly arrows. However, if you click on schedule, which is essentially a calendar view of Planner, uh, you will notice uh, that uh, the task has been added and then all these other instances, if I go to next month and so on, uh, you will see that all the instances are here because again, uh, it's a recurring, it's a recurring uh, task. Now, uh, let's say, you know, let's pretend I'm Mary and I'm uh, ready to complete the task. So um, I just obviously complete the task. However, let me refresh my screen. It's not obvious right away, but let me refresh my screen and let's see what happened. Look at this. Mary completed just when she clicked on this checkbox, she pretty much just completed uh, the you know next instance. All right, if you notice now, it still shows me that same task, but now the due date obviously is you know another Friday. All right, next Friday. So once again, as Mary you know, completes this instance. And again, let's refresh the screen. I actually, in this case, I didn't even need to refresh. Sometimes you do. Look at this. Because it's a recurring task, essentially now um, it just shows up the next instance that needs to be completed. So uh, what if you truly want to, um, you know, kind of get rid of this task, all right? No more, uh, no more instances. Uh, or what are the options? Uh, there are a couple of options available. Uh, so first of all, you can always remove the recurrence, all right? And that essentially will transfer this task to a regular task. Uh, and uh, then you can just complete it and it will not reappear. Uh, the other option is just to delete the task altogether, all right? And when you delete it, uh, essentially, yeah, it's asking you the question again, do you just want to delete this instance or everything in the future as well? And in this case, yeah, we don't want any more recurring tasks. So we'll delete all of the instances. And at this point, uh, when you go to the calendar, uh, all right, I think I need to refresh it here. Uh, yeah, I think these are the two that existed and then all the future ones, if you notice, uh, they're gone because again, I uh, essentially deleted all the future instances. Uh, so that's essentially everything I wanted to explain in this particular video. Uh, hopefully you learned uh, something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com.